Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at Ping Headquarters today in Phoenix, Arizona. I've got Thomas Campbell with me. Thomas is one of our master fitters at our Minnetonka location. Also plays professional golf, plays a pretty busy schedule throughout the year on several different mini tours. We were testing G410 product today, tested the whole product line. Thomas, it was great for us to get out of the cold. It's a little damp today, a little rainy, but for us, nice to hit some balls off some green grass. Definitely worth the time. This uh, G410 line is really, really impressive. Yeah. From the driver through to the irons, pretty going to be a pretty, pretty exciting year in 2019. I so. think Ping's going to do really well with these products. I think sort of the, the story for Ping the last couple of years is that they continue to produce golf clubs that are going to fit a wide range of players. You're doing this on a pretty regular basis, fitting players, and I got to think you feel the same way that this is going to be equipment that's going to help a whole lot of different people. It is and the nice added thing with the 410 line is the customization. So with the driver for example we got an added customization with the center of gravity bound to adjust that. Also the hosel settings we can now adjust lie angle so that's really exciting as a fitter to me to be able to really dial in these numbers for, for my customers. So we got a chance to hit drivers, fairway woods, hybrids, crossovers, irons. Tell me a couple of standouts for you today, a couple of the, the products that you really personally enjoyed getting a chance to test. So I got the chance to hit pretty much most of the line right there. What stood out to me was with, let's start with the driver. So the driver right off the bat really flew pretty straight. After making a couple of customizations to me, I really could go after it and not worry about it go left. It just flew really, really straight. So I was forgiving on the miss hits, but Boy, did it go straight. So that's one big big piece with the driver. Um, fairy wood was also excellent. I got the chance to hit the LS Tech um, fairy wood as well. Really, really excited for that. Uh, I was getting a little bit tired at the, at, at the end there, <laughs> so I probably hit about 150 swings in this short period of time. Um, but it was still forgiving enough that I didn't really go too far offline when I was tired. Um, with, the, with the irons, I was amazed how straight they went. So they, you know, they obviously being a little bit of game improvement iron, you know, the spin rate really did not drop like some other game improvement irons I've noticed. So it really did stay spin rate wise for me, pretty similar to what I'm seeing in my current seven iron, normally in that kind of six to 7,000 range. I was really impressed with how that, you know, that maintained um, a generate, a decent sized spin rate for, for the ball to hold on the green for me, so. Yeah, that was a standout feature as me for well with the iron, seeing just how well they spun. I mean, it's so important for people to, you know, you can make an iron that goes a long way, even goes in the air, but if it's not spinning enough, you can't hold the greens. And yep. then you're sort of defeating the purpose of adding the launch and the distance. So that was a big component. I'm holding the crossover and I'm Talk gonna about try. a club that went, went far. <laughs> I'm gonna try to sneak out of here with it, but I don't think they'll let me. But this was a revelation for yep. me today. It, it, even the two, which is 17 degrees, I was able to launch so high in the air, as high as any hybrid I could hit. And I generally don't get along with hybrids. So this would be an amazing addition to my bag. And what they've done to, to be able to create that performance, but streamline the shape as much as they have from G400. The, the G410 crossover is a club I think a lot of people are gonna have to take a look at. I'm somebody who adds a little bit of loft at impact, so it's, you know, easier for me to create a little bit more height, but you all, as well were just hitting bullets with this that would make it a, also a tremendous tee option for players. Yeah, I mean, for me, I really like the idea of playing a driving iron that I know can go pretty low and pretty straight. So the two um, 4, 410 crossover for me, really, it did, did everything that I wanted it to do. It was a nice, compact shape to look down at, but you know, it just, it went straight, it was, going about 260 on average and this is kind of towards the end where I was getting a little bit tired as well so it was really really I'm pretty excited to maybe put sneak that one into my bag as well too yeah so. yeah really nice and then I will also want to talk about the driver uh, I really like the G400 played that driver I think G410 plus uh, is gonna be a solid improvement there I think the added customization is huge for players to really dial it in and get the ideal performance. But once again, it's just so forgiving on miss hits. The dispersion I saw left and right was so minimal, even on some not great swings. And it's a little bit bigger than G400. I think it's gonna inspire a little more confidence. 
not quite as big as you mentioned uh, in another video as G400 Max, but at the same time, it's got that great sound and feel that G400 had um, that I think is going to make it really popular with players. Yeah, very, very excited with this driver. As you mentioned, it's it's right in between, uh, size-wise, between what the 400 was and then the G400 Max. So it's, I think it's about 455 cc, I think, in the size of the G400 Plus. So that's, for me, it's not going to look too large, but it's going to give enough, present enough confidence to a player looking down at it. So, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So for our second swing customers who are going to be looking for new equipment in 2019, G410 is going to be a line you're going to want to take a look at across the line, depending on what your needs are. We'd encourage you to get into one of our stores if you have the opportunity, take a look at the new clubs, get with somebody like Thomas, get fit. If not, definitely check out everything we've got from a content standpoint and all the information about the new clubs on secondswing.com. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be another good year for Ping in 2019. 2019 is going to be really exciting. Thomas, I appreciate it. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Thanks.